Ladies and gentlemen, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my most anticipated, well, one of my most anticipated games of 2017 slash 2018. This game is called You Boat or You Boot, Das Boot, a World War II survival sandbox submarine simulator. And no, you haven't been living under a rock. This game has received very little press, and I think just for two reasons. One, it's still under development. Two, it only targets a small population of the gamer, well, population. This is a World War II submarine simulator, and that right there, submarine simulator, isn't the most engaging genre a gamer could choose from today's marketplace, but I feel like it has a place in my community and many other wargaming channels. Or, well, not, not the company, but just the genre of war games. I think we really appreciate attention to detail, historical historical campaigns, historical accuracy in the modeling and the way the U-boat works. There is a segment in today's footage where they launch a torpedo like 100 meters away from the boat. And the developers have already made a note that this has been changed. So just FYI. And the best part about this game, I think that we'll all appreciate, is the non-instant gratification for doing absolutely nothing. In today's climate of games, you get a grenade kill or a headshot, you get a flipping medal for it. This game, if you don't plan out a path strategically, if you don't attack at the right time, if you don't manage your crew correctly, that torpedo is not getting on target. And this is everything I'm assuming from this game. I've gotten contacted with the developers and they are not budging on letting me play in alpha or any type of beta demo that they have, which is fine by me. So just take this video with a grain of salt. I just wanted to share my passion behind the very little footage that I've seen and the very little information that have been revealed about this game. Now let's talk about what U-Boat is to us and what kind of game we can expect from it. Now I'm reading from the Kickstarter page, the Kickstarter page in the description below or the link if you guys want to follow along. I don't believe you can kickstart it anymore because it's already past its Canadian dollar goal. However, you can pledge via PayPal. I'm not sure if you get the benefits from the Kickstarter page, so I would email them before you do it, but there is a PayPal link for you guys to support this game. But uh, reading from the first paragraph, U-Boat is a simulator of a submarine from World War II era, yet different than all you have seen so far, which is like a, a Silent Hunter and other sub games. It is a survival sandbox with game mechanics similar to that of Fallout Shelter, while its primary theme is life of German soldiers like Wolfgang Peterson's film Das Boot. So what we can take from that is that in U-Boat, you control the individual crew members that control the boat. So it's not a macro submarine game, it's micro. So every little micro input you have for the crew member is in quest of making the submarine function and sail and fight very efficiently. And I think it's as micro as having to cook and supply food at different meal times during the day. From the Kickstarter page, it says you look after their physical and mental health because if the sailors are hungry, tired, and their spirit is low, there's no chance of winning even a skirmish. So not only do you have to manage your fuel, your ballast tanks, the air compressor, the torpedoes, the overall integrity of the submarine, but you, I think, have to manage food, medical supplies, and other things that keeps a human alive during a war situation, which kind of just blows my mind. Because what I, can, what I can picture right now is just having a nice evening meal with a nice evening sunset with a little bit too much beer in circulation around the submarine. And all of a sudden, a drunk sailor, his name is Hans, is peeing off the side of my U-boat. And I've told him multiple times not to do it. And I've already disciplined him twice. And this is the third time of me catching him doing it. And once we get back to port, he's going to get court-martialed because I can do that hopefully in this game, but maybe he won't get court-martialed because he was the only one who spotted an air patrol. It was a Sunderland, and now from a peaceful dinner, the submarine has gone into a red alert stage. A uh, dinner is done, the submarine dives, and then for the next couple hours, we have to evade air patrols and sub hunters. That's something that I'm looking really forward to somewhat experiencing in this game. One of the coolest things that U-Boat has going for it right now is the cutaway view of the whole entire U-Boat. So when you go from different segments or sectors, bulkheads, if you will, 
or that's I think what they're called, of the submarine, you can see the internal guts and you can see what crew members are doing. So it's kind of, it kind of has a feel of faster than light and bomber crew, but for a submarine. And now just to drive home how important crew management and crew morale is in this game. On the Kickstarter, it says, in U-Boat, each sailor will have his own face, his story, personality, skills, and weaknesses. The sailors will come either to report something to you or just talk some problems over. Now, you are a officer on board. From the footage I've seen, you can switch between like the radio operator or radio officer or some other high ranking individuals in the ship. So that's where I think we're at. I don't think we're one individual person yet, but continuing on, uh, the Kickstarter says, we will show you not only their service, but also their free time. They will eat, talk, enjoy simple pastimes, cue to the only toilet on board, fight to decide whose girlfriend is prettier. You will see the lives of gray wolves in all its glory. The last thing, in my opinion, that we should take away from the Kickstarter is that the studio who is developing this game is not going to change the historical events that happened in World War II. Uh, they say German, Ger the, well, it just says Germans lost the war, which is no secret, yet the fate of your U-boat and crew is in your hands. In U-boat, you can decide where to go, but also whether to shoot the cook for burning scrambled eggs, dude. That is brutal. I can just see it right now. The first couple of hours of playing you, but when it releases, my crew's gonna turn on me. I'm either not gonna have enough food or I'm not gonna have enough cuz on board, or they might even shoot me because I brought Kolsch on board. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this segment of the video. The rest of the video is just gonna be B-roll footage of the sounds and sights without my commentary over it. If you guys wanna follow this game, their Steam link is in the description below for you guys to add to your wish list. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed and enjoy the rest of the video. Rohr 1, bewässern. Rohr 2, bewässern. Rohr 4, bewässern. Rohr 1, bewässert. Rohr 2, fertig. Rohr 4, fertig.
Verlassen Sie das U-Boot! Begeben Sie sich zum Notausstieg! haben es trotzdem bis an die Oberfläche geschafft.
Feindlicher Zerstörer in Sicht. Alarm! Aufgepäckt! Das ist 